Hi, this week I'm going to do something a little different from my uh, traditional electronics videos and I'm going to talk about making uh, soda with my soda stream. So I've had my soda stream for uh, many years. Um, used to buy flavors in these bottles. My favorites were the, uh, the grape, the orange, the, the caffeine-free diet cola, um, things like that. They were pretty handy. The bottle came with a measuring cup. And then I took a break for SodaStream for a couple years and then came back and all of these nice flavors were gone. Instead, we've got these crappy things. And these things cost more money. Um, this one here made 50 servings. This one makes uh, 30 servings. And they eliminated a bunch of the flavors that I like. So I figured I've got to do something different. So I got on the internet and figured out how can I make my own syrup. And I found some recipes online, and I bought the supplies to do that. So you're going to need uh, three things to do that. You're going to need snow cone concentrate. Don't just buy the snow cone syrup, but buy the actual concentrate. You're going to need uh, some kind of sweetener. I'm using sucralose powder that comes from uh, BulkSupplements.com. I bought that on eBay. And then you're going to want some citric acid, particularly for your uh, fruit flavored mixes. So I also got this citric acid on eBay. I think this came from PlantGuru.com, uh, but it says it is food grade and it's like approved by everybody and it's made in the USA, so awesome. Then you're going to need an empty bottle to put your mix in. So let's start by putting some water in our bottle. Then we're going to need some, some uh, concentrate. I'm going to use this orange. Getting into this orange for the very first time. I'm going to put this on here on the plate because uh, I really don't want my countertop turned uh, permanently orange. Some of these uh, syrups can be quite intense. So this is one quarter cup. I usually like a little bit more punch to my flavor, so I put about another eighth cup of uh, concentrate in. That should make that good and orange. Now, set the uh, concentrate aside. Now it's time to do our uh, sucralose powder. So I put my sucralose powder, uh, most of it in this glass jar, it's easier to uh, get access to. So we want, uh, the recipes call for half of a teaspoon of sucralose powder. So we'll measure out a half teaspoon very carefully. So that, believe it or not, is supposed to be equivalent to about six cups of sugar. So a little bit of this goes a long way. Regardless, I like mine a little bit uh, sweeter than most. So I'm going to put about an extra, about an extra eighth teaspoon in there. So I put a half teaspoon and about an eighth teaspoon into the uh, mix. And we're going to need one teaspoon of citric acid. So there, we have now made ourselves some basic orange soda mix. Let's take and top the water off. Cap it. And then shake it up really good. Here, let me close the sucralose before we have sweetener incident on our hands. We want to shake this up real good to mix it. You know, because we are putting some very small uh, 
concentrations of ingredients here and we want to make sure they get thoroughly mixed into solution. Now I've found this stuff can be uh, quite volatile if you use it in your uh, soda mix immediately it'll foam all over the place so I usually uh, let it sit for you know 5, 10, 20 minutes or so and then we'll be ready to make some soda. So the mixes, I got three mixes here. I've got grape, I've got orange, and I've got cola. I haven't tried the cola yet. I'm still working through some of my uh, old bottles of uh, Soda Stream Cola. Again, these are concentrates, so make sure you get concentrate. Uh, they do seem uh, like they're going to go a long way. So all of the ingredients go a very long way. You know, this this thing I got of uh, sucralose powder, that's going to last, you know, like forever. And the citric acid is probably going to last forever. These things here were only used about three-eighths cup at a time, so they're going to last a good long time. So I think this is, you know, I haven't done the actual math yet, but I think it's far more economical to uh, buy the stuff this way and mix it yourself than it is to buy the uh, soda stream mix. Plus, you can make flavors that soda stream doesn't make anymore, like, uh, you know, sugar-free grape, sugar-free orange, caffeine-free cola. There's, there's at least 30 different snow cone flavors that you could buy so you know you've got quite a variety of different things you could buy and I'm going to try buying some more and experiment with them but that's uh, well that's that's about it for this video I hope you enjoy and I hope you can make some of your own uh, cost-effective uh, soda mix thank you for watching my video please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff bye